let's say if you were to receive an expression like this 2x to the negative 2 plus 8x to the negative 5 what would you do to factor this particular expression how can you take out the GCF or the greatest common factor well let's compare that example with this one what would you do to take out the GCF the greatest common factor would be 3 and it's x squared it's the smaller or the lower value of those two numbers to get what remains it's going to be 3x squared divided by 3x squared which is 1 6x to the 7 divided by 3x squared which is 2x to the 5th power 7 minus 2 is 5 now what about the example above how can we apply that same process to factor this expression so the GCF will contain a 2 now which number is smaller or lower on a number line negative 2 or negative 5 negative 5 is lower than negative 2 so you want to take out x to the negative 5 now to find out what goes inside we need to divide if we divide 2x to the negative 2 by 2x to the negative 5 what do we get 2 divided by 2 is 1 so they cancel and if you have a negative exponent you can switch them if I move this to the top it's going to be positive 5 instead of negative 5 and if I move this term to the bottom the negative 2 will change to positive 2 and 5 minus 2 is 3 so the first term is x to the third power and for the last one we took out the x to the negative 5 and if we remove 2 from 8 8 divided by 2 is 4 so we should get this so that's how you can factor this particular expression if you want to you can take this um, variable and move it to the bottom to make the exponent positive so this expression is equal to x cubed plus 4 multiplied by 2 divided by x to the fifth power now let's try another example try this one 3x to the negative 4 plus 6x to the negative 5 plus 12x to the minus 6 so we can remove a 3 from 3 6 and 12 and the smallest or the lowest of these three numbers is negative 6 so if we divide x to the negative 4 by x to the negative 6 you're gonna get x squared negative 6 I mean negative 4 minus negative 6 is the same as negative 4 plus 6 which is 2 and if you multiply x to the negative 6 by x squared you need to add the exponents you're gonna get the original x to the minus 4 now what about the second one 6 divided by 3 is 2 and negative 5 minus negative 6 is equal to positive 1 so this is simply going to be 2x or 2x to the first power and for the last one we took out the entire x to the minus 6 12 divided by 3 is 4 so this is what we're going to get so the final answer is 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 divided by x to the sixth power and we can't factor this particular trinomial so this is it now what if we have negative fractional exponents like uh, this example 4x to the negative one half minus 8x to the minus three halves so we can take out a 4 and we need to take out the lower of these two values so which is negative three halves so now let's subtract what is negative one over two minus negative three over two this is negative one half plus three over two which is two over two and that's equal to one so this is just going to be x to the first power or simply x now for the last one we took out the entire x to the minus three halves and eight divided by four is two so this is x minus two 
So the final answer is 4 times x minus 2 divided by x to the 3 over 2. Try this one. x to the minus 2 plus 7x to the minus 1 plus 12. Here we have a factorable expression that's in quadratic form. Notice that this exponent is twice the value of this one. So we're going to factor by substitution. Let's say a is equal to x to the minus 1. If that's the case, a squared is x to the minus 2. So we can rewrite this as a squared plus 7a plus 12. So what two numbers multiply to 12 but that adds a 7? This is going to be 4 and 3. So to factor it, it's a plus 4 times a plus 3. Now at this point, we can replace a with x to the minus 1. So you can leave the answer like this. That's how you can factor this expression. Or, if you want to, you can rewrite x to the minus 1 as 1 over x. So this is 1 over x plus 4 times 1 over x plus 3. Try this one x to the minus 4 plus 5 x to the minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 0. So let's use substitution again. Let's say that a is equal to x to the minus 2, this one in the middle, and a squared is x to the minus 4. You can do this if it's in quadratic form, if this exponent is twice the value of this one. So we can rewrite it as a squared plus 5 times a plus 4. So what two numbers multiply to 4 but add to 5? 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So this is going to be a plus 4 and a plus 1. At this point, we can replace it with x to the minus 2 plus 4 times x to the minus 2 plus 1. So this is the answer. Let's try a few more practice problems. Try this one. x to the minus 4 minus 25 x to the minus 2 plus 144. Go ahead and factor this expression completely. So let's set a equal to x to the negative 2. And a squared is going to be x to the minus 4. So this is a squared minus 25 times a plus 144. So what two numbers multiply to 144 but add to negative 25? It turns out that 9 times 16 is 144. And negative 9 and negative 16 adds up to negative 25. So this is going to be a minus 9 times a minus 16. So now we can replace a with x to the negative 2. Now it turns out that we can factor this even further. For example, if you had x squared minus 9, you can make it x plus 3x minus 3. So if you have x to the negative 2 minus 9, it's x to the negative 1 plus 3 times x to the minus 1 minus 3. Now we could do the same thing for x to the negative 2 minus 16. It's x to the negative 1 plus 4 times x to the minus 1 minus 4. And if you want to, you can replace x to the minus 1 with 1 over x. But this is the answer. This is going to be the last problem for today. Try this one. 2x to the minus 3 plus, or rather minus, 2x to the minus 4 minus 24x to the minus 5. So it's not in quadratic form. Therefore, we need to take out the GCF. The GCF is 2x, and whichever one has the lowest exponent, in this case, negative 5. So negative 3 minus negative 5 is positive 2. Negative 4 minus negative 5 is positive 1. 
but it's going to be minus x to the first power. A negative 24 divided by 2 is negative 12. So we have 2x squared minus x minus 12 divided by x to the fifth power. Now we can factor this particular trinomial. What two numbers multiply to negative 12 but add to negative 1? This is going to be negative 4 and 3. So the final answer is 2x minus 4 times x plus 3 divided by x to the fifth power.